Uh, Bernie Sanders, seeking peace with Joe Biden, asks his own delegates to turn down the volume. Uh, yeah, fuck Bernie. I, dude, like I said, he doesn't meet <laughs> my purity Bernie. test anymore. He, do he doesn't. He's not acting like a fucking populist anymore. He's not trying to fight for us anymore. Well, I, I know he's trying to get this fucking bill passed for $2,000 a month for the rest of the coronavirus thing, but I don't think it's going to fucking happen. If oh, it, you, you know what I'm going to say? I want to make this very clear. Joe Biden, he's an enemy of the fucking working class people. If yes. Bernie Kleems yes. keeps claiming to be his friend, then what does that make him? Right. That's my point. Yeah. That's my point. Like, he will, he will not stop telling it. I'm he's my friend. He's my friend. He's my friend. We're friends. We're friends. We're best friends. We love each other. We we, we go on picnics together. We 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 we, we <laughs> caress each other's backs on the side of the beach and and watch the the sunset together. We ride like a tandem bike into the sunset, like the end of that ride, Simpsons episode. We, <laughs> yeah, dude. We lick each other's toes. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I mean, like, you know, Joe Biden, we're talking about a candidate who bragged about, you know, cutting social programs. We're talking about a candidate who told, you know, wealthy donors in private, under my administration, nothing would fundamentally change. He's the most How's, How the fuck is that a friend of someone who claims to be like a populist candidate who's like for, you know, a, a revolution for the people? He's the yeah. most electable candidate, Swagta. Don't you know this? Dude, but he's not. He's he's de he's got fucking dementia. He's According to the media, he's the most electable. Dude, but he's not. He's con like anytime Joe Biden opens his dumb, stupid, fucking fake teeth, full mouth. Like there's always a decline in support. He always loses like a percentage any fucking time he does anything. Yet he's the and this is the most electable candidate. He's the candidate. <laughs> Dude, uh, all right. uh, you know what the you know what the status part is? I think that he's still actually leading Trump in national polling right now in terms it's of like popularity. Well, it's, it's not shocking because he's not Trump. Sorry. That's this dude. That's his only yep. fucking thi thing. Is he's not Trump? Hillary fucking you know she went to the American people and, and asked them in utmost arrogance like, what are you gonna do? Vote for my opponent? <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, they did. Well, Fuck yeah, you. That's I mean, exactly like, what happened. Yeah. And Trump won, and we all laughed at. Him. What are you like, gonna ah! do? Vote for my opponent? Nah. Well, dude, Joe Biden has already told us not to vote for him. Remember? Oh, if you want Medicare okay. for oh, yeah. all, vote for the okay. other Biden. You want this? Don't vote for me. Go vote for my opponent. Well, okay, I'll vote for your opponent, or I just won't fucking vote. I'm no longer black, man, because of Joe Biden. That? Joe Biden told me I'm not. Damn. You, you want to go to oh, that? Yeah, next? we. we... Yeah, yeah, let's play that. Fuck yeah, Joe let's, Biden. Let's, let's play that. Let's play that. Okay. Let's play that. Biden, yeah, th this pisses me friend. off. This Joe Swanson. I'm black. I'm black. Okay. You I've, know seen, like, I've seen like tweets of what Joe Biden said. I haven't watched the actual. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I've heard it. I read it and I was like, that's disgusting. I, I got quite a bit of shit on Twitter from um, multiple people for saying that Joe Biden is racist uh, because he was pro like segregation um, multiple <laughs> he was. decades ago. <laughs> and he said he said he said things like, "Oh, you know, Obama's the first like clean black politician. It's really a novelty, isn't it?" He said something basically like that. He's had so Dude. many fucking quote unquote gaffes that make him seem racist. Yeah. That how can you not assume that he's fucking racist? Dude, I made the point that because Joe Joe Biden is trying to use Obama as, "Hey, hey, I was Obama's VP. I'm not racist. See, that means I'm not racist because motherfucker, don't you get it? That's why Obama picked you." He was running as the first exactly. black president in a country full of racist white people that didn't exactly. want a black president. He needed an old racist white dude on his ticket. Why do you think Trump picked up Mike yep. Pence? For the same reason. You need, like, some fucking racist fuck. Like, you need someone to appeal to the far right in this country. Otherwise, you don't have a shot at the presidency. That that's unfortunately that's how it goes. That's that's how it works in the general election. That's why you have to, at least in, in a. Now maybe if Bernie had a, like a progressive VP, that could have been different. But if uh, if 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 you're someone like a uh, you know Obama, running against someone like uh, who was it J uh, McCain. Yeah, you, you need someone to appeal to the far right. You know, maybe with Bernie in this election, it would have been that enough of Trump the Trump uh, enough of the right was disenfranchised by Trump. But under normal circumstances, yeah, you got to balance that fucking ticket, dude. And I keep uh, getting that argument too, like this this election cycle matters more than anything. You and next time we can talk about this. Like, go fuck no, it yourself. Doesn't. They I, said like that I keep last saying, time. Yeah, they said it last time, They'll and that's gonna be the argument that they make yeah. until the end of. They'll fucking say time. it next time too. They'll say it next time when in, in the primary they're trying to run someone like Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. I feel like the average voter is kind of like a, an abused spouse, yeah. just like yeah, coming yeah, back absolutely. to their fucking abusive yep. boyfriend. It's like you know. Yep. I, 
I can change, baby. Get with me. You know, and then they get back together, and then nothing changes at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. And that's I love, what, dude. I love how they're British, too. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> why. Get with me, it. baby. Get with me, baby. <laughs> I'll be honest, though, dude. That That's why I, I can empathize completely with the people who say, you know what? I'm just not going to engage anymore. Most people who have the ability to vote choose not to vote. I wonder why. Yeah. True. I can't blame yeah, them, that's... dude. How how disenfranchising is it to vote every four years and see nothing change, and see the the the, the, the government spit in your face every time? It's funny too, because um, you know, every time it's you hear like the same arguments: the lesser of two evils. You know, harm reduction. Do that. that okay. Be well, a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. No, well, here's here's thing. the thing though. Like, anytime a candidate comes along and they're like, "I have ideas that would actually benefit the average person," like Yang with UBI, that'd be a really good safety net for a lot of people. No. People shun no, no, that no. immediately, and they're like, "Oh, he's a spoiler. He can't win. Just fuck him. Just vote for the <laughs> vote but for the empty somebody, suit somebody with somebody fucking comes dementia." Along and says, "Hey, I'm not Trump." And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, he's all right." <laughs> I just want to point out this video has six hundred six hundred sixty seven thousand views on Twitter. That's a lot. Which that's, that's yeah, a lot. Joe Biden actually did um his campaign did a broadcast. I think it was on YouTube, which was plagued by technical difficulties. That received like you know concurrent viewership was like. I don't know. I heard it was like 800 something people. I That's could be wrong bad. there, but like a lot of people are going to go out and vote for him, but there's no enthusiasm to hear him speak because he has nothing nope. of value to fucking say. People know that. They just well, know that he's not the only Because they, they don't want Joe Biden. Look, Joe Biden represents cuz because when people look at Joe Biden, they don't see Joe Biden. They see George Bush, Bill Clinton, you know, uh, Ronald Reagan, th these like old white guys, these classic, you know, these old, pre yeah, we, we got to get back to normalcy. That's what they see. They see normalcy. They see, yeah, Even here's an old white road. dude. It led to what you have now. So why nah. would you want to repeat that process? Nah, you I know for a fact that it's doomed to fail. I'm pretty sure we had the best country ever until four years ago. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's watch Joe Biden lose the black vote a little more. <laughs> Okay. Listen, Wait. you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. Cause it's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more Ugh. questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Listen, you got to come see us when you come <laughs> to New York, oh. VP Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. What the fuck? Uh, play that again. Can I please play that okay, again? Okay. Well, what? Yeah. It's a long way until November. What? We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Listen, you fuck you. <laughs> Just fuck you. Fuck Honestly, it, yeah. the sense of entitlement there is so telling. Oh, that is funny. You that just hilarious. You just told Charlemagne the God that if he doesn't vote for you, he's not black. And, and, and who the fuck are you, motherfucker, to be taking away people's black cards? One more time, okay. please. <laughs> when you're figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Listen, you gotta. What is so, going through Charlemagne's head when he said that shit? Well, I wish it had the follow up to that, but uh, I, what I read what he said. He said basically, nah, dude, it's about uh, like I want change in my community. I want someone who's gonna do something for the community. He's black, so he should yeah, vote he's, for that fucking he's politician. Black. Don't you see? No, he's black, so he wants fucking change in the black community. Like, oh, I don't know, marijuana fucking legalization and nonviolent drug offenders being freed. Maybe clean up those ghettos. Maybe uh, fund some fucking black businesses instead of shunning them. You know, maybe do something for like work the working class. Maybe I don't know Medicare for or, all. Or, or maybe about, don't uh, say that you're gonna veto Medicare for all because that doesn't just help black people. That helps everyone. What about UBI? I know that's something. Yeah. That, uh... No, it's socialism. By the way, did Yang uh, endorse Biden? Uh, yeah, he did. Then okay. on Twitter, like he, people poked him on it, and he's just kind of like, "Well, it is what it is." <laughs> like, yeah, didn't you he could say tell that, it's... that like, he, okay, if you don't support what I support, I'm not endorsing you. Then literally a little bit later, I, I think I think I saw a tweet where uh, somebody somebody Bison? said like, you know, somebody Bison. said, "I wish you supported uh, Bernie instead," and he said like, "Me too," or something. That, that's a rough one, Chief. You know what that shows me, I dude? Think... I'm pretty sure, and and I've had this thought for, uh, as long as this primary has been going on, that behind the scenes. People like Joe, uh, people like Bernie Sanders, people like Tulsi Gabbard, and people like Andrew Yang are getting the absolute shit kicked out of them by the establishment and to told, "No, you are gonna fall in line. You, sh you, you, you're lucky we're even letting you come out here with these ideas. You'd better not fucking do anything to uh, 
it impede our chances because you're not getting that nomination. Joe Biden's wow. getting that nomination. Just look at what fucking happened to Howard Dean. Like the dude went, yeah, one time and they like the media played it over and over again. They're like, okay. this guy's fucking unhinged. He's I insane. I forgot Look about that, dude. Holy shit. Imagine yeah. showing passion dude. about what you believe in. Go fuck. And it's can, funny because, like, you know, who, who are they pushing? Was it fucking Al Gore or Bob Dole or what the fuck was it? There was, like, some who, who, fucking... Whoever the fuck it was at the time. I, yo, this is before my time, so, like, I don't recall this, you know, obviously, aren't you but... are like, 36, Swag? How do you not remember this? <laughs> fuck you. I'm 23. What the <laughs> you fuck? fucking boomer. <laughs> Back in my day. But, but yeah, I mean, like, they, they played that clip over and over again, and they fucking ruined his name. They decided to, like, tear this motherfucker down and push the, the, the equivalent of what we have now, which is Biden. Yeah. Like, this empty fucking suit. This person who has no personality at all, who's just a, a, basically a puppet for the wealthy. Yep. That's the person they pushed instead of Howard Dean. Now, I don't know much about Dean. I can't fucking defend his policies because I don't know Dean. jack shit about him. But doesn't just it goes to show that, like, you know, the, they don't care. They don't give a shit. They don't want honest, fucking, energetic people. They want yeah. people like Biden. So, 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 me, me, and Chess were watching uh, the the comedian Christopher Titus. Don't know if you guys you guys have seen him. He's great. Uh, he has no. a stand up special called uh, I think it was Nevolution. Basically, he starts talking about at one point that uh, the, uh, he's like terrorism is over. There's no more terrorism in this country. We can stop fucking worrying. And then he's like, actually. There are still terrorists in this country because you know what terrorists do? Terrorists keep you afraid. And you know who keeps us afraid on a daily basis? CNN, the government, CNN, the media. Fox News, MSNBC. And I'm like, yeah, that's so fucking true. He's like, yeah, you know who? Nancy Grace is a fucking terrorist. Fucking, uh, uh, who's the other dude? All these fuckers are terrorists. Those are the yeah, terrorists. Those are the terrorists in this country. CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. So can we just start referring to the media as, as the terrorists on this show? Uh, you don't. You guys don't have to, but I will. The terrorists. I mean, yo. if you want to, Jay, go ahead. But I mean, I won't go that far. I'm, I'm just they gonna are. refer to them as the thing, because I mean, like they basically like imitate human life. They're the terrorists behind the scenes. It's it's like this horrible fucking mutant organization. That if it wasn't for the media smearing people like Bernie Sanders, how much change could have been accomplished? If, if the media wasn't, like, sitting there and pretending, oh, yes, Joe Biden is so great and Bernie Sanders is an evil socialist. Do you remember the hope and, like, inspiration that people had when Bernie was winning those states yep. in the beginning? Like, people were like, man, this oh, could yeah. actually And the media shot time. on it. It's finally different. It's finally imagine, different. Imagine if that continued, man. That momentum could have definitely... The media fucked. wouldn't let uh, him have the momentum. The media refused to even report his winnings. They refused to report that he was the front runner at all. Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, did, speaking of the media, did you guys see the, the the New York Times interviewing different candidates? Which interviewing, I'm using that term loosely as fuck. I mean, like, yeah, I was gonna say they about as loose as fucking the goatsy dude's people. asshole. I mean, like, whatever. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, the they, they interviewed uh, Amy Klobuchar, Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders. I mean, like, you know, you, you can find videos of this on YouTube if you know the audience is interested. But um. Essentially, like, they made up their minds from the get-go, and the conclusion they came to was Amy Klobuchar and Elizabeth Warren. That's the future. That's, you know, the ticket. Man, what a choice. Wow, what a it's smart It's fucked up, too, because, like, um, when Bernie was sitting there, like, they were just staring da daggers at him because they know that he poses a fucking threat to the establishment that they benefit so greatly from.